After the French were driven out, Mexico went through a period of chaos, and then Benito Juarez emerged as president. But he only lasted a few years before he passed away. And in his place came, Benito, uh, came Porfirio Diaz, who ruled Mexico from basically 1870 to about 1910. He took a break in a few years in there, but he was essentially still running things. Well, this period of time is known, is known as the Porfiriato, when he ruled like a dictator, but a benevolent one. Uh, he had railroads built out to remote parts of Mexico, and just about everybody in, in Mexico was in a remote part if they weren't in Mexico City. Uh, he would build, uh, build electrical plants and get people on power grids. Uh, he developed the poor areas of Veracruz and Tampico and Acapulco, and he was really looking towards improving Mexico's infrastructure for uh, foreign investment. Of course, uh, during the Perfiliato, it was infamous for how it benefited foreign investment uh, to the point where foreigners had more rights and more privileges than did Mexican citizens. It was seen as a very unfair period, and yet Mexico still remembers Diaz for all the benefits that he brought to their people. Uh, Mexico today is kind of like the Porfiriato again, I guess. There's still that huge division between rich and poor, and Article 27 of the Constitution is pretty much in suspension thanks to uh, President Salinas, so that means the redistribution of land isn't going on anymore. But they are still building infrastructure and improving things. Uh, this road that we're on, the Alupista Cordoba Veracruz, or uh, also known as a Cuota or Toll Road, is a great road here. Uh, but of course, it didn't come cheaply. They had to build the thing and we pay a toll on it. But, you know, Mexico's still doing that while the poor are still being left behind and foreign investors are getting a lot of cash. Anyway, that's all.